Hello guys, this is Maddie here and uh, if you remember I had made the first video about the general OS review and this is my second video which where I would like to give you information about the content manager and some other features which I now realize I have missed. So one of the things which I forgot to show you was how to lock the screen right because it's a touch screen device so locking the screen you just need to press this power button and the screen will be locked and to unlock the screen the procedure is the same and the screen can be just unlocked by swapping and again we get back to the main screen so now you might be wondering that what is the procedure to transfer your data from your Vita to your PC or vice versa or even to, to a PS3 so I would like to show you this charger come transfer device which can be used for both the purposes and uh, as of now, I would like to show you how it can be used as a charger. So let me keep my camera. So as you can see, right now the Vita is is charging. The, this is right now it has been used as a charger. So now if you want to use this for transferring a device, I just need to remove I just need to remove this USB cable from from this battery pack and I need to keep this here and now what I can do is that I can take this USB and put it inside and as you can see my PC is showing the message that the PSV system is now connected so now I can just go to the content manager and I can push this start button. This will give me the option immediately of copying the contents of backup and restoring. So I want to transfer the contents from PC to PS Vita. So as you can see, I'm going to the music. So now this will search my my suggested directory or suggested folder in my PC using the software as you can see this is a list of songs which I have and if I want to copy I can select any one of them or I can select all and I can press this copy and uh, similarly I can do the same for say something like I want to show you how yeah I can do something similar for like the pictures as yes, now it will search my PC for all the pictures and as you can see of all the pictures I've got here I can I can select either all of them or I can select some of them and they would be as you can see if I select some random pictures and just press this copy it will be copied to my Vita And it's taking time because actually all these pictures are of very high resolution. These are taken by, not by this cam in which I am making the video, it's for taken by DSLR. So they are approximately 6 to 7 MB, so it's taking some time. And uh, it will be done as in some time. Yep, it's done now and I can, again I can press this home screen and now I can, now it's time I can view the pictures and to view the pictures I can just go to this photos option and uh, I can even view pictures of my PC here and as you can see the pictures which I had uh, just as you can see now the picture I have decided and uh, I, of course it supports multi tier as well so this is how you can transfer all your contents from your PC to your Vita. Another thing which I wanted to show you was multi, multitasking, true multitasking on the Vita so let me open some applications, let me open Uncharted I'm sorry this this would be a teaser for you because I will not play the game this will just show you the multicasting, multi not multicasting, <laughs> I mean to say this will show you the true multi-programming or the multitasking abilities of the Vita. So, 
So as you can see the game is loading right now. So this so right now this means that the game is definitely running, right? And let me start. As you can see the game is running. So so I will not start the game right now. I will just so now let me open another application. Let me open music. And let me open videos and let me open let me open something like say the browser so as you can see I've got four applications running here fully so this application yeah music and video it can't run simultaneously but what I'm trying to say is that there is no slowing down right you have opened all your application that you want and there is no slowing down so what you can I mean the advantage is that supposingly you are you're playing the game and you don't want to quit the game and you just want to check something on the internet or you just want to you know perhaps read a tweet you can easily do that and as you can see I have got many home screens open I can even open more screens okay if you use a Twitter and maybe you realize that you have a tweet with you you can as you can see you can even use Twitter if you want so as you can see I've got so many applications running you know alongside the game as well and I can close them all through the simple swap function and now we are back to the home screen so this is really you know multitasking to the best where I can use multitasking fully and as of now this uncharted is not supporting multiplayer so I can't use internet while the game is running because this is a single player game but as the multiplayer games will develop which will use internet so you know then I can even open uncharted and I can, I can perhaps simultaneously browse the internet so this is just an indication of how strong this processor is really and uh, I guess that would be all I have shown you that content manager and uh, let me show you one more thing the closing time of this device so I just need to press this power button for some time and uh, I can power off and yep the device is closed so very smooth very fast my PC is giving me the message that the content manager has been disconnected so smooth device fast and uh, again Thanks for watching and the third video which is the gaming performance of some of the games which I have is coming really soon and I would like to thank all of you for watching this video. Comment, like, subscribe and uh, hope to see you all soon again.